Hi, I'm Jake. After my previous tutorial, I've got few requests on how to make effect of invisible man. Let's get started. So this effect we will create today. Go to File, Import, File. This footage will be in the description below for you to practice on. Left mouse click and drag here or here on timeline or here on this icon to create new composition with exact dimensions of your video. And release it. As you can see, I have this key out footage. If you want to know how to key out yourself, you can check this video by clicking on this information icon here at top right corner of your screen. In that video, I show three ways how you can key out yourself so you would have same footage with alpha channel. I'll also drag and drop a background. Left mouse click and drag here. Okay, it looks pretty good. We will use displacement map effect. Let's create an adjustment layer. Go to layer. New, Adjustment Layer. And here in Effects and Presets panel, type Displacement Map. If you cannot see this Effect and Presets panel, you can go to Window and enable it from here. So let's drag and drop this effect onto our Adjustment Layer. Here we need to set ourselves as a Displacement Map Layer. And now we can disable ourselves. Now by playing around with these max horizontal displacement and max vertical displacement values, you can start to get this look. Also, you need to click on this wrap pixel around, so we would not lose parts of our image. Here you can tweak these values as you want to get the look which you want. In my case, I want to have parts of my face to be visible and also to see some trees behind me. Also, if you zoom in on the mouse using scroller, you can see that we have too much details and I think it would be better to simplify this look. So for this we need to select the footage with our cells, this footage here, and go to Layer, Precompose. I'll call it Me with Blur because we will be adding some blur and click OK. Now let's open it. I'll apply Gaussian Blur, drag and drop onto our footage. And let's apply a blur in value of 5. Let's go back to our main composition. So now I am clicking Ctrl Z and Ctrl Shift Z to see before and after. As you can see, it simplifies our footage. If you prefer to have more details, you can skip the step with the blur. And now we need to precompose this all. So select it and go to Layer, Precompose. I'll call it Invisible Effect and click OK. So now we have all effect on one layer. Let's drag and drop our background one more time. So now we have these both layers and if I disable background you can see that this invisible effect comp still has the background. So we need to cut ourselves out to be able to add fade out animation only to ourselves and not to background. For this we will drop once again ourselves into this composition then select this invisible effect comp click on toggle switches and modes and set to alpha matte. And now as a result, we have only our cells cut out. Now we can enable our background. And let's add some fading out animation. Precompose these two layers. Go to layer, precompose. I'll call it effect cut out and click OK. Drag and drop once again footage of our cells. And to create a fading out animation, we will use Luma Matte. As you could see before, Alpha Matte cut outs only using Alpha. And now we will use light value of this image. So first of all, we need to make it really bright and go dark. So we could use only light values of this image. For this, we will use exposure effect. Drag and drop on this footage here. Let's make it a bit darker. I'll set my value to minus 0.5. And now let's create this animation. So it should be bright. Set a keyframe by clicking on this stopwatch. And if we press U on keyboard, we will see it on timeline. Keyframe is basically the point in time which remembers the value of certain property, like exposure. And here, by the end, let's make it zero or even less to get completely dark image. Let's make sure that our value is starting just about when it turns dark. So let's lower this value. So about here at value 20, it becomes darker. It may be different on your footage. Just find the value where your image becomes darker. 
And now if we change track mat of this layer to luma mat, we'll see this kind of animation. Type in curves and drag and drop on this layer. And by making this kind of curve, you can see that edges becomes more clear, which I think looks a bit better. Let's preview this. And finally, let's add ourselves so we would be visible at the start. Select this footage, go to edit, duplicate, and let's duplicate one more time. Go to edit, duplicate. This bottom layer you can enable by clicking on this eyeball icon and go to effect, remove all to delete all the effects and also change track mat to luma mat. Let's select this top layer which is responsible for animation. Press U on keyboard to see our keyframes and drag it to beginning. Select both of them and right mouse click on one of them to go to keyframe assistant and time reverse keyframes. It will reverse the animation. As you can see at the end it didn't vanish completely. We need to create a new keyframe to gamma correction here towards the end of animation. Click on this stopwatch and about here set this value to 0.1 and by selecting these two keyframes we can make this animation start later and maybe spread apart so it would be more soft. And now it's a good time to support my channel by one of the links in the description below. Or just simply subscribe to my channel, leave a like and comment, any support is very much appreciated. Thank you!